Hey you guys, it's Peter and welcome to my channel. Peter, boom, 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 review stuff. And I am sitting outside of Speedway Gas Station. Um, I was sitting here and I was thinking about doing a review of something from Starbucks, obviously. Um, and I was reading up on it and I was getting ready to do uh, the little reading, you know, before I get us the reading, like we're on church on Sunday. She's not a Christian! Anyway, anyway, I digress. And I was like sitting here, and I was just kind of like for a moment, I was looking off, and then I kind of like looked over at the Starbucks, the Starbucks, the Speedway. Do you ever do that? You're just kind of like daydreamer, daydream believer. I am, I was so that, my teachers, they always wrote that on my report cards. They're like, Peter is such a daydreamer. Anyway, I was just kind of like, I was like, oh, the snow was kind of pretty because it was kind of like falling down. And then I was looking over, and I was like, I think I knew somebody that lived in that neighborhood, and then I was looking over here, and I was like, I saw a thing of this that says fresh coffee, 99 cents. And I thought, didn't Speedway, now, weren't they supposed to come out with this unicorn drink? Y'all know, this unicorn drink. So I started looking it up. There's nothing about this unicorn drink. <laughs> There's nothing about it anywhere, okay? And I was like, what is going on with this? You can't find this unicorn drink anywhere, right? On the internet, let me just show it to you. So it's called the unicorn, I don't know, the drink, the hot chocolate, the coffee. I thought it was like a coffee, like a special coffee cappuccino. Now there's video, Speedway's new, I just look up this video, Speedway's new unicorn hot chocolate review, but I didn't think it was supposed to be hot chocolate. Get off there, I don't want you! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Speedway, there's no denying that uh, this is going into the Facebook now. Oh, that's a, that's a, a slushy. See, I, I don't want a slushy. But it's like the unicorn drink has come to Speedway. Have you tried it yet? That's all it says. And it's on uh, the Speedway gas station thing on Facebook. That's it. There, there's like nothing else out there. And I'm like, y'all didn't do a very good job marketing this thing. So I went in to the gas station, right? Because I wanted to see if they had it. I thought they're never going to have it. Okay, I haven't heard about this. You'd think there'd be like billboards and everything all over the place, right? Because they're trying to be the new Starbucks and stuff, stuff. See? Now, I have my, I brought a new Starbucks cup with me today. But I went in there. Sure enough, limited time only. They have a uh, limited time exclusive. It says on there, unicorn drink, all in pink. And um, so I like was like, I'm coming out here. I'm getting my camera. I got to film this. I got to film this. This is like a wild unicorn. They don't talk about it. Like, you know, unicorns you can't ever catch a picture of. You can't see them out there. I mean, I, I truly do believe in unicorns. <laughs> but that's because I am one. You know what I mean? Are you a unicorn? If you're a unicorn, you know, say it proudly. But anyway, you, you know what I mean? But anyway, so you, you can't catch a unicorn out there in the wild. So I was like, this might be my one and only chance to ever catch a unicorn at the Speedway, so I better take video of it. You know what I mean? So anyway, I'm going to go into Speedway now, and I am going to film myself uh, getting the unicorn hot chocolate, and then I will come back out here, and we will, re well, I'll review it, and, and you'll sit there and, and say, ooh, I think I might want one, or oh, that looks disgusting. So anyway, um, I will be, I'm going to show that to you, and then I will be back in two and two. Okay, here it is. Unicorn, limited time offer. So I'm going to get... Put it underneath here. All right. Let's see what it does. Good thing. Very cool. See some blue is coming in there. Oh, cool. There it go. Look at that. Okay, I'll be back in uh, just a bit. Okay, I'm back. Can I just tell you what one of my biggest pet peeves is in the entire world? Is when people throw their trash out the window or on the side, when there's literally a trash can 10 feet away, that you cannot, you're so lazy that you cannot walk over there and throw, I mean, I sound like somebody's dad, don't I? But that drives me crazy, okay? Like, I'm a, not the biggest world's environmentalist in the entire world, but I do try to do my best. And can we just talk about this for a fact, for a second? For a fact. There's a mouthwash, there's mouthwash right there. And Diet Coke, and who is, why are you throwing your mouthwash out at the Speedway? The better question is, what are you sitting right here doing that you need mouthwash to then throw it out? Dirties of the world, my God. I can't even. All right, so this is the unicorn hot chocolate, I guess it's called. 
Um, I don't know how good the picture came out on the video in there, so I'm gonna show you guys here. So you can see the color. It's like, ooh, it smells kind of like, well, from what I can smell right here, it smells kind of like cotton candy. Yeah, I'm kind of getting cotton candy vibes from it. Okay. Let's see. Oh, it's hot. Yeah, it's not bad. Um, I mean, kids would love it. It tastes like... I mean, it's fun, too, right? Because of the blue and the pink color. It tastes like really sweet hot chocolate. Which is so funny. Because I was going to do a review of hot chocolate today. At Starbucks. I was going to do this chai. It's called chocolate chai. Or something like that. And it's a drink they used to have on their menus like years ago. But it's basically a mix between a chai latte and hot chocolate. And I was like, okay, well, maybe I'll think. I was thinking of, like, doing something different today, you know, like hot chocolate. I was going to actually do all of the sides of Kentucky Fried Chicken. <laughs> but then I realized I wasn't really that hungry. Um, you know, like, here's the thing. I, I'm such a coffee drinker that, like, for me to... I, I used to love hot chocolate when I was a kid. For me to get hot chocolate, like... I don't even know, like, if I was with, like, friends going to see, like, Christmas lights or something like that. Oh, when we went to that, uh, that Newfields thing here in Indianapolis, Melissa got hot chocolate. I got apple cider. When I said that in the video, oh my god, you guys, everybody thought I was drinking alcohol because I said cider. Long before, I mean, well, I guess we called them cider probably in England and things like that. But long before people in the United States thought, started calling it hard cider, it was apple cider was like something you got as a kid on Halloween. Don't you remember? Anyway, it was just apple cider. There was no liquor in it. There was hardly any apple in it. It just tasted like watered down apple cider. But anyway, like to something like that, I would get hot chocolate. I think that would be kind of fun. But like, I'm not a big, big hot chocolate fan. But this is good. I mean, I definitely think if you're gonna go through Starbucks, I mean, it's very sweet. It tastes like a perfect mix between cotton candy and hot chocolate. I mean, like, here's the thing. If you're gonna go through Starbucks and you're gonna spend four or five dollars for your kid to get a Frappuccino, like, I think this is a more, this is a more fun alternative. And, um, like, once you kind of get the foam away from the top, I can't do it with the camera and show you at the same time. But the entire, um, Here, maybe I can blow on it and show you. <laughs> you can't see it if I do that. Hold on. I know this part of me blowing on the hot chocolate is going to be some people's like favorite part. They're going to be like, oh my god, I was dying when you were blowing on the hot chocolate. Well, I was trying to show it. It's, no, it's going out of focus. I was trying to show what the hot chocolate looked like underneath because it's pink, which is kind of cool, don't you think? So, I think it's a cool concept. Um, I mean, like, if you're going to go to Starbucks and you're going to spend 4 or $5 for your child to have, like, a Frappuccino, which I think is ridiculous, and my mother would have said absolutely not back in the day. My mother today, if she was alive, if my mother was alive, I'm telling you right now, this is what she would say to me. I just cannot believe that you spend so much money on those drinks every day. That is such a waste of money. That is what my mom would say to me. I know she I'd be like, Mother! It's my money, and I'll spend it how I want to. She'll, and she would say, I understand that, but there's a lot of things that you can spend your money on that were, you know, how about some celery? How about a bag of carrots? That's healthy, but why all these sugary drinks from, and then she would mispronounce Starbucks, and she would say, why all these sugary drinks from the, the, the Starchucks? And I would say, what? And she would say, Starchucks, up the street. I'd be like, mother, it's not called Starchucks, it's called Starbucks, but anyway. My mother would never have bought me a 4 or $5 drink back in the day. She would, she would have bought herself one. She would have said, this is ridiculous. You know what I don't remember now is, was, well, Starbucks would have had to have been around when my mom was alive. Because I feel like I kind of remember driving through there and getting, like, a drink. And she probably then was like, it was ridiculous. I don't really remember, honestly. But anyway... I'm going to give this a 4.5. I think it's a really cute thing. It would be cuter if they had little cups that went with it. And how much would it cost to just, I mean, Speedway's got a ton of money, to print up some, like, unicorn cups that were specific just to that and make it a certain size. You know, because they want people to buy the large ones. But I don't think you need a large one. It's awfully sugary, you know? But I think for, what, $1.29 or whatever I paid for this 
excuse me, I think that that's, you know, a pretty good idea. So, uh, a pretty good idea. I think it's a good, pretty good price, you know? And then you can start your day at Speedway. <laughs> So anyway, have you tried the unicorn hot chocolate? You better because it's only a limited time and then you won't be able to find the wild unicorn at Speedway. So anyway, let me know what you think in the comment section below. I love you guys and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.